Welcome to Evening Prayer with the Stamford Methodist Circuit for Friday the 25th of August. As we continue to follow the pattern of prayer and reflection suggested by the Methodist Church Prayer Handbook, we return to our readings from Jesus' farewell discourses to his disciples in St John's Gospel, reading from chapter 14. We call each other to prayer using words from the prayer handbook suggested psalm for the day, Psalm 107. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures for ever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, those he redeemed from trouble, and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Let us pray. Yours, O Lord, is the day, yours also is the night. Cover our sins with your mercy, as you cover the earth with darkness, and grant that the Son of Righteousness, Jesus Christ, may ever shine in our hearts to chase away the darkness of all evil. We pray in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. The Gospel reading, which we'll share later, is very brief. However, its brevity is far outweighed by the significance of its message, which is rooted in love, love which leads to Jesus' gift of God's Holy Spirit. The hymn suggested for today in the Methodist Church Prayer Handbook uses words written in the 9th century in Latin and translated into English in the 17th century. It's a prayer for the gift of the Holy Spirit's anointing, for the Spirit to aid us in knowing God the Father through Jesus God the Son. A hymn set to a traditional plain song melody that is traditionally sung at ordination services. It is Come Holy Ghost, Our Souls Inspire. Bible reading is just three verses from chapter 14 of John's Gospel, verses in which we're privileged to continue to eavesdrop 
on Jesus' farewell messages to his closest followers. The reading is John chapter 14, verses 15 to 17. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper, who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him, because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him, because he remains with you and is in you. In those few verses, St John holds together Jesus, his Heavenly Father, and the gift of the one who is variously called the Comforter, the Helper, or the Advocate, the Holy Spirit of Truth. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are interrelated, inseparable, and what binds them together is the circle of love. We continue to reflect on this dynamic relationship of love, using some words written by Maggie Hindley, a retired United Reformed Church minister. Dear God, you are always on the move, always active. Within your own three-sided person, there you are, creating and keeping each other company, making peace and pouring out love, listening and communicating truth. You do so much together as Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Source, Guide and Goal, Creator, Healer, Wisdom, Playmate. And you made us like yourself. You made us for keeping each other company and rejoicing in each other's successes. You made us to encourage each other to be forgiving. You made us to learn truth from each other and to teach it. Dear God, dear Trinity, we ask you to open us up, to reach out to each other in love, to inspire us to be always active, always on the move, echoing wisdom's call to all that live, to learn to love that truth. Thomas Tallis is considered one of England's greatest composers. He lived during the 16th century, composing during the reigns of Henry VIII, Edward VI, Elizabeth I and Mary I. Tallis survived because he was capable of switching his composing style to suit the demands and changing religious preferences of these various monarchs. In 1565, during the reign of Elizabeth I, Tallis composed and published a four-part motet based on today's short gospel reading. It's in the traditional English, which became familiar through the authorised King James Version of the Bible. If Ye Love Me is among the most frequently performed of Tallis's compositions. In 2010, it was sung at Evensong at Westminster Abbey for the visit of Pope Benedict XVI, and in 2018 at St George's Chapel, Windsor, during the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. We listen now to Tallis's composition as we continue to reflect on the dynamic relationship within the Godhead, Jesus's farewell promise of the Holy Spirit as a comforter to his disciples. E mm -hmm.
and let us pray. O God, who in Jesus Christ revealed your love for all people, help us in everything we say and do to express that divine love, sharing the good news with conviction, openness and sensitivity by the leading and enabling power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ's love enfold us, the Spirit inspire us, and God the Father lead us as children of one family, united as Christ's body on earth, till he brings us safely into his heavenly kingdom. Amen. Thank you for sharing in this time of prayer. God bless you.